Hello everyone, so here I am doing exercise 4.3 second question and this is from a simple equation of class 7th math. The question is solve the following equation. So this is similar to the first question but here the few steps will be more required to solve them. Let's start with the first one. So this is 2 into in the bracket we have a x plus 4 is equal to 12. So let's find the solution for each question. First I am going to write down the question. So it's 2 into x plus 4 is equal to 12. Like I said, it is 2 into bracket. There's no sign. You cannot see any sign. It means there's a multiplication between 2 and this bracket. Whatever number present in the bracket. So when you transpose a number which is in multiplication to the other side, I'm using transpose method to solve here. You can use balancing method or transpose method or both the methods you can use to solve the equation since in the question they have not mentioned a specific method. So I'm going to follow transpose method. So whenever transposing a number from multiplication to the other side, it becomes division. Similarly, division will become multiplication and addition and subtraction are the again opposite signs. Okay, So let's start solving this. So here it will become x plus 4 is equal to 12 upon 2 because multiplication become division and 2 ones are and then 2 six are. So we got x plus 4 is equal to 6. Now transpose 4 to the other side. So this will become x is equal to now 4 is in addition if you transpose to other side it becomes a fraction so 6 minus 4 which is 2 so therefore x is equal to 2 this is the answer for the first question let's solve the same thing for the second one so here we have a 3 into n minus 5 is equal to 21 again 3 into i said so multiplication when transpose to other side it becomes division so n minus 5 is equal to 21 upon 3 cancel 3 and 21 will get 7 so n minus 5 is equal to 7 now take this minus 5 to the other side so minus will become plus so n is equal to 7 plus 5 which is nothing but 12 so therefore n is equal to 12 is the answer for this question then the next one question number 3 so here we have 3 into n minus 5 is equal to minus 21. So this is similar to second question. Only thing is instead of plus 21, there is a minus 21. So let's solve the C1. So 3 into, so the steps will almost remain same. Only on the right hand side, the signs will change. So again, take the 3 to the other side. So this is n minus 5 is equal to 21 upon 3. 3 and 21 will get cancelled, will get 7. Now take minus 5 to the other side, so minus will become plus. So n is equal to 7. Okay, here we have a minus 21. I'm sorry, I forgot to put minus sign. So this will become minus 7. So now you take a minus 5 to other side, it become plus 5. So minus 7 plus 5 will become minus 2. So the answer is, therefore, n is equal to minus 2. So this is the answer for third question. The next fourth one. Minus 4 into 2 plus x is equal to 8. So minus 4 into 2 plus x is equal to 8. Now minus 4. Remember minus 4 is a one number. So it's not like four, um, sign of the 4 is minus. No. If you see here 4 and the second number. Second number means some, the, whatever we have in the brackets the second number. There is no operation. It means there is a multiplication. So when you transpose you should transpose minus 4 to the other side including the minus sign. So 2 plus x is equal to now multiplication will become division don't think that minus 4 will become plus 4 no you should consider sign between two different number the minus sign is a sign of the 4 that's it so here it become 8 upon minus 4 so 4 ones are and then 4 twos are so it will get 2 plus x you can write down the minus sign with the minus two, with the 2 it will become minus 2 
now take this 2 to the other side now see the operation between 2 and x is plus and moreover the po sign of 2 is uh, positive here so you take it to the other side becomes minus so x is equal to minus 2 minus 2 so this will be minus 4 therefore x is equal to minus 4 is the answer now we have a last question to solve so the last one here is sim same question but signs are different here it's like a 4 into 2 minus x is equal to 8 so 4 into 2 minus x is equal to 8 take the 4 to the other side so 2 minus x is equal to 8 upon 4 4 ones are and then 4 twos are 8 so 2 minus x is equal to 2 now look here we have to transpose 2 to the other side there are actually two ways of solving it you can transpose minus x to the other side and you can bring 2 to the this side that is one way why I'm doing this so that I can make x positive okay if you do like that if you transpose this x to the other side and the 2 to this side it will become 2 minus 2 because 2 has a positive sign when you take it to the other side it becomes minus and minus x will become plus x so in this case we'll get 0 is equal to x or x is equal to 0 this is a one way of doing it if you don't want to do like that it's okay you can transpose uh, this uh, 2 to the other side I'm going to show you the one more way of solving this I'm taking from here I'm showing one more way the answer will come to be x is equal to 0 only but I'm showing one more way so 2 minus x is equal to 2 so if you don't want to transpose minus x you can do one thing you can transpose this to, to the other side now since this 2 is positive like the sign is positive when you take to the other side become minus so minus x is equal to 2 minus 2 which is 0 so minus x is equal to 0 but still there is a minus sign here now since there is no number you can see okay the coefficient you cannot see number obviously it cannot be equal to 0 because 0 into x will be 0 it means the coefficient is 1 that is it's like minus 1 into x if there is no coefficient you have to take it as 1 okay now this minus 1 I'll transpose to the other side so minus 1 is in multiplication when you take it to other side become division so x is equal to 0 upon minus 1 which is nothing but 0 again so this is a one way of doing but that method will become a bit lengthy like uh, you have to add few more steps that is why I showed you with the previous one whichever is comfortable follow that method I hope you have understood and I hope this video is useful to you and in case you feel like you have a questions to ask or you have a doubts you can drop a comment below and thank you so much for watching.